Hello, welcome to this channel Gain Java Knowledge. And today in this video, we will learn how to implement Spring Security with OAuth. And we will create our own OAuth server and resource server to generate and validate the token. And we will also create a client app that will access this OAuth server and the resource server. Okay, let's get started to create the auth server. After that, we will create client app, then we will test. First, we will build a web application. Authentication and authorization is must. So Spring Boot and Spring Security have made implementing a web application using auth2 is very nice and simple. So first we will create auth server. So here we will create two projects one for auth server and another one client app start.spring.io so here i will choose grader project and here i will choose java 2.3.2 artifact id is spring security auth server And here I will add the dependencies that is web dependency and another dependency is auth2 cloud auth2 and here we can see we have added two dependencies spring web and cloud auth2 now we will generate this now I will extract here Copy the path from here, go to my Eclipse, import existing Gradle project. Select folder, finish. First, we will create a auth server that we will use by our client app. We can also use third party auth server like GitHub, Facebook and Google also we can use. But here we are creating our own custom auth server. And here we can see Spring Security auth server. And it is our main class. Spring security auth server application and now we are going to create our own custom auth server so first what we will do we will go to our application dot properties file and here we will use these properties and here we need to define the context path that is oauth and next is the client id that we can define any client id because we are creating own custom auth server so it will be client id and here is the client secret we can define any value that is a client secret and redirect uri here we are using this as a redirect uri that we need to use in our client app also and here auth username that we can give any name java user and here the password will be password and these are the properties that we need to configure before creating auth server these are the properties that is used to set the server port and these properties used to set the context path and these are properties will be used in memory now we will go to our main class and here we will use the annotation that is at the rate enable resource server now after creating the enable resource server now we need to create auth server so here i will create one new package new package that is config 
here we need to define the config for auth server so here i will create new class auth server config and here at class level we will use annotation that is at the rate configuration so spring boot will automatically understand and load this class to create the bean and another annotation is at the rate enable authorization server enable authorization server and this class will extend one more class extends authorization server config adapter authorization server config adapter now we need to read the properties file value that we have defined so here this at the rate value annotation will be used to read the values from property file here we have defined auth client id auth client secret auth redirect uri so here we are just reading and here we will use password encoder so here i will define private final password encoder and here we need to initialize this password encoder so here i will use constructor public auth server config and here we will pass the parameter as password encoder password encoder and here it will initialize this dot password encoder is equal to password encoder now what we need to do now we need to override the configure method so here what we will do we will override configure and the configure function that contains authorization server security configurer that we need to override here so what we will do here here we need to call security dot to token to key access here we need to use to token token key access function here we'll call and here we will use permit all permit all so it will permit all to access the token and here it will use check token access and here we will use is authenticated if authenticated then can access is authenticated and like this is authenticated and here we will also use is permit permit all and the next what we need to do now we need to override one more configure function and here we will override client detail service config and now we will remove this one and here we will call clients clients dot in memory here we will use because here we are not using any database connection and here we will use with client and here we will pass the client id and this is a parameter client id and secret that is a password and here we will use client secret here we are using just in memory not using a database connection 
so we will close this bracket and here we are using authorization here we are using password encoder so here we will call secret by using password encoder dot encode client secret so we will pass here client secret client secret dot authorized grant type which type of grant type we want to use so here we will use authorization code authorization code grant type we are using here and the next thing what scopes we will use here scope that is user info user info scope we are using here and auto approved will be true so here we will declare auto approve value that is two we can use two or false anyone so where we are using true and redirect uris that we have defined in our application dot properties and we can use directly from here redirect urls and here we can see we have overrided two configure functions first in configure authorization server security configure this function is used to configure the security of the authorization server which means we have overrided the slash auth token endpoint and the second is configure function that contains client detail service configurer and this function is used to configure the client detail service and we will use these credentials when we will create our client application and we'll test this auth server then we will use same the credentials and this class is mainly used to create the token and also to validate the tokens while client will access this now the next thing we need to create one more class that is security configuration class so here we will create one more class that is security configuration security configuration class we have created and here at class level we will use same annotation that is at the configuration because here we are defining the configuration and here we also need to use one more annotation that is at the rate order one so it will be load when will be the application start so its order will be first and here we will use extends web security config adapter web security configure adapter here we are using and here we will need to use the username and password from our properties file so here we are going to read username and the password from property file and this class is mainly used to allow the client app to find out more about the users that authenticate with the server so here we need to override the configure function configure function that contains http security so we will override this function and here we will remove here we have defined declared two urls that is login or slash auth authorized and here we will use authorize request function authorize authorize requests so these requests will be authorized and any other request that will come we need to authenticate this any request that will be authenticated then it will return the response authenticated and here we will and we will also use form login here it will allow form login to all users so all users can see the form that is used for login and here we have permit all 
now we need to override another function that is configure that contains authentication manager builder so here we will override configure function that contain authentication manager builder now we will remove this from here and here we will call auth dot in memory authentication and here we will use with user with user and here we will pass the username that we will read from property file and here we are using password and the username and the password will be password and the next thing we need to check password encoder here we need to use also so first here we will create the bean for password encoder here we will create the bean for password encoder so we can use here public bcrypt here we will use public bcrypt password encoder and here we will use password encoder encoder and here passcode encoder will return the object or we can say bean return new bcrypt password encoder bcrypt password encoder and here we will use this this password encoder here we will use password encoder dot encode and here we need to use password encoder bean and here we will call encode function and here we will pass the password and the next we need to define the role roles for this user so here we are just it's a user so the role will be user and now our auth server is completed now we need to make a one client app so we, we can test our server it's working fine or not so let's create one more project so here we will go and here we need to create auth client spring security client that will be used to test our app so we can test our auth server is working or not so here we will add the dependencies first one is spring web dependencies that we need to add and another dependency that is auth client and one is time leaf so first here we will adding time leaf templating and the another dependency that is auth to client auth to client dependency because now we are going to create a client that will test the auth server and jar version 8 gradle project where we have selected and one more dependency that we need to add so that we will add later that will be related to time lift security so we can enable the security for ui layer also here we are generating and show in folder extract auth client here extract here spring security client now open this and copy the path go to eclipse and here we will import existing gradle project select folder finish here we can see spring security client project is imported successfully but before creating this we need to create one more controller in our auth server so here we will create one more package that is controller auth controller so here we need to create one more class that is message controller that will be used to get the user information 
so here we will define the annotation that is at the rest controller to make it a controller and here we will create one endpoint that is public and it will return principal object principal user and here we will pass the parameter as a principal and it will return the same object that will come as a parameter return the principal and here we will use java security principle and here we will use mapping that is at the get mapping and here we need to define the url that will be user principal now we will go and create our client app so we will test our auth server now we will go to our client app and here we can see this is the main class that is the spring security client application now what we need to do so first i will go here in my source main resources and here i will rename this file that is application.properties so here i will use yaml file application.yaml and open this one and here we need to first need to define the server port so here i will define server colon port colon that is any number we can define and here we will use servlet colon session servlet session and here we will use cookie and we can define any name for the cookie but here i am just defining ui session that we can check later and here what we need to do spring time leaf here we need to add some more properties that is related to spring time leaf time leaf and we will disable its cache same time leaf cache will be false and here time leaf security we need to add security that is auth2 auth2 client and here registration and here we will enter the custom client detail custom client that will use auth server credential first we need to define client id and client id that we have defined in our auth server that is client id so we can check from auth server also in auth server here we can go to source main resources application door properties here we can see client id that we need to define here so this is a client id and next is the client secret and that is also we have defined client secret that we can check from here client secret and we can define the client name also that we can define any name so here i am just defining custom auth 
server and the next here i need to define the scope that is user info user info and here we need to define the provider and we can use any custom provider provider and the next thing we need to use a redirect uri redirect uri that we have defined in our auth server so we will copy that from there redirect uri now i will go to auth server application dot properties and we'll copy this from here and here we will paste it and this is the redirect uri and now we need to define client authentication method client authentication method that is basic here we are using basic and authorization grant type here we are using authorization code authorization grant type grant type here we are using authorization code that we have also defined in our auth server that is authorization code now next thing what we need to add custom provider detail so here i am just pasting this detail here that is custom provider and its token uri and authorization uri and here this is a user info uri that we have created the controller in our auth server and where here we have added client id client secret custom auth user and here we have defined the scope and here we have defined the redirect uri from auth server and here we are using authorization mode is basic and here we are using authorization code as the authorization grant type and in provider we have added custom provider detail and here the custom provider detail that is the token uri localhost 8081 auth auth token and this is a username attribute and this is a user info uri that we have created one controller in auth server and there we have defined user principal as a url now why it's showing some error and here we have created and here we can see our context path is oauth so here we also need to define oauth or we can just change value here we can remove oauth so this url will be matched that is user info uri now it's okay now what we will do now we need to add one dependency that is timely security related dependency so we will go to our build.gradle and here we need to add the dependency that is compile group so here i will just paste this dependency compile group and the next thing what we need to do now we need to create the security configuration in auth client also so here i will create one new package that is new package dot config and here i will create one new class refresh that is security configuration security configuration and here we need to use to define the annotation that is at the configuration and here what we need to do we need to extend the class is web security extends class web security configure adapter web security configure adapter and here we need to override the function that is configure that contains http security as a parameter and now we will remove this from here and here what we will use http dot and matcher 
so here we will pass the expression that is slash star star we can define here and need to authorize this request authorized requests so here next we need to define end matchers and these end matchers will allow slash and another is slash login login star star and it will permit to all it will give permission to all users that can access slash login url and any other request will be need to authenticate it so here we will use any request any request that need to authenticate it so here we will call the function that is authenticated and here we need to allow auth to login also so here we will auth to login here we will call auth to login and this is the configuration that we have override the configure method and here what we did here we have specified the ant matcher and ant matches that is the login url and the slash will be in the url then it will permit to all users if any other request will come then it will need to authenticate it and here we have enabled auth to login also now what we will need to do here we will create one controller that we will use to test our application so here i will create one more package that is controller and here i will create one more class that is test controller new class that is test controller and here i will use annotation that is at the rate rest controller and here i will use annotation at rate controller because here we are enabling web agency because this is the spring mvc application so here i will create two endpoint first is public string secured secured page and here we will pass the parameter as model and another one is principal two parameters just we are passing here and from here we will return one string value and we need to create secure dot html in our index our templates also because when this endpoint will be hit it will automatically search in our template to find the secure dot html file here we will define the url path for this endpoint so here we will use annotation add the rate request mapping and here we will define slash secure as a path and we need to create one endpoint so we will just copy it and paste it here and here we will remove secure and here we will change the function name is index and the parameter will be same and here it will be the value as index now what we need to create we need to create two templates that is one is index.html and secure.html so here i will go to templates folder to here what i will do here i will create new file that is html file we need to create html file first one is index.html and another one is secure.html so here i will create one more file that is secure.html and here we can see i have created two files here in index.html i will just paste these two lines that is h1 spring secure and 
here I have defined the link when I will go to index.html here we can see the link will be available on this page that is secure and when I will click secure link then it will go to secure.html file and here in secure.html I will just print the authenticated username so here I have just used span th text authentication dot name so now I will run this application and will test our app is working fine or not so first I will start my auth server and run as java application and here our auth server has started and it's running fine now I will go to start my client app so here I will click on main class run as java application and here we can see my client app is also running fine and now I will go and test this host server is working fine or not so I will go to here and here I will call localhost 8082 so here we can see spring security auth2 that we have defined in our index.html file that we have defined here spring security auth2 and the link is secure and the label is login so here i will click then it's showing some error message so we need to check our pom.xml that gradle build.gradle there is authentication insufficient authentication exception user must be authenticated with spring security before authorization can be completed so we need to check the dependency that we have added in build.gradle that is compile group user must be authenticated spring security before authorization can be completed so we need to go over auth server auth server config and here we need to use authenticated function is right permit all and the next thing we need to check security configuration of auth server so here login and that one is authorized so we need to change here authorize now i will stop and run this application again and we'll check it so i will stop this stop this also so first i need to start my auth server run as java application and the next is need to run the client application mm, running fine run as java application So here we can see both client and auth server has started now go to here and here type localhost 8082 and click on login now here we can see the login screen so here we need to add the user and password that we have defined in our auth server so we will go to auth server property file that is application dot properties java user and password is password so here we will enter the username and here we need to enter the password is password click on sign in and here it's again showing some error and here we need to check and authentication name that we have defined template secure line number eight it's showing some error exception evaluating spring el expression and here we can see template input exception that is class path resource template secure.html so we need to go here in our template folder that we have defined here secure.html 
so here we can see line number nine that is authentication name that is th colon text so here we need to add one dependency that is timeleaf.org so here we need to remove this and now it's not showing any warning so we just need to restart the application or we can just refresh this page not working local host 8082 and here we will click on login i think we need to restart the application go here stop this application stop this one also now i will again start my auth server and now i will run the spring security that is my client tab after starting the server so here we can check the logs now i will go and here we'll call localhost 8082 and click on the login link here we need to add username here we need to enter the username so here we will go to our application dot properties file and here we will check the username that is java user so here i will enter java user and password is password just click on sign in and again it's showing error now we need to check console and here we can see template class path resource and some error due to templates dependency i think it's not able to read regular expression that we have used here so i will just comment this part and we'll run this application clear the logs and and here i will go to browser and here i will just enter local host 8080 8082 spring security auth 2 and click on the login here we can see the message that is welcome and we can check on another browser that is localhost 802 shipping security auth 2 login and here we can see the login message after clearing the cache i am again entering the username and the password is password so here we can see when we click on sign in we will go to secure.html page that is welcome okay thanks for watching